Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I would love for you to hang around by clicking that subscribe button and the little bell next to it so you don't miss another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I made these easy DIYs so go ahead and keep on watching if you want to see how I made them. So let's go ahead and jump right in. We're going to be using our Dollar Tree Square Mirrors. These mirrors that I got from this frame that the Dollar Tree carried this past summer. I got a lot of them. Not sure if they still carry them, but I do have an alternative from Amazon. So I moved the mirrors from the frame and soaked them in some soapy water to remove the extra cardboard. I'm going to be using the back of the frames as a support. I'm removing the little tabs, but that's not necessary. You can also use a piece of foam board or a long piece of wood. So I just started gluing everything and here's my inspiration piece right here. I saw it on Instagram recently and it was $50. This is how I'm arranging the back of the frames. I wanted the middle to have extra support. Also be sure to use E6000 or a stronger glue if you're going to use the method I'm using here. So I just glued everything together. Then I flipped it around and added a layer of the Dollar Tree Fix All. This glue has a lot of fumes so make sure you are in a well ventilated area. Next, I arrange my mirrors, remove the foam pieces so that you have better surface contact for adhesion. Once I arranged everything and made sure that it was straight, I started adding the glue. I added a layer of the fix all adhesive and then a layer of hot glue just for the quick set. And I repeated this process for all five mirrors. Once all the mirrors were glued down, I tried to put something heavy so that they would set. And I don't know what I was thinking with these candles. That's the dumbest idea. I just didn't want to go upstairs and get books. So that's all I had in the room. So about 30 minutes later, it was pretty much set, but not completely at the center. So I added the popsicle sticks for extra support. Again, you can use like a long piece of wood or you can use some foam board that is thick enough and layered and stacked just to give your whole unit some sturdiness. This was just so that I can continue to work and I did not have to wait the next day for the glue to cure. Next, I went ahead and started arranging the mirrors and how I wanted them to lay. So I came out to have the two long, three short in the middle and two long on the other end on either side. And on the two end pieces, I just had two long. There was a gap and I'm gonna show you guys how I closed the gap. So I just started to glue the small mirrors to the ends to create the full unit and I'm using hot glue again. Please be sure to use E6000 or something stronger in combination or without the hot glue. So 
So I went ahead and repeated this process on both sides. Next, to cover the gap, I'm using this Totally Dazzled brooch. I really liked how the end had a mirrored-like um, finish at the center. So I removed the little dangling piece and the back of the clip. And then I glued it at the area where there was a gap. You could also use this and create little legs for your whole unit and just raise it up, but I decided to keep it flat. And I just glued the brooch at the corners. And I repeated the process for all four corners. I laid it on its side and I liked it. And this is the final result. So I'm showing different ways that you can use this. You can use it on your coffee table, you can use it on your dining room table, any area that could accommodate the size of the mirrors. And you can lay whatever you'd like on top. Not something too heavy depending on how much support you have at the bottom, but I just really liked it on the dining room. I think it looks really great as a centerpiece. For the second DIY, it is Z Gallery inspired. I'm telling you guys, Z Gallery, I don't know what y'all are doing, but your stuff is so simplistic and then it's so expensive at the same time. So I'm going to be using these five frames that I got from the Dollar Tree. The Dollar Tree had a really super nice selection. I'm using these five by seven frames that you see here because it had a champagne color, but they also had some different sizes and different finishes. This one's silver and it's four by six. They had black and they also had this white and gold one. So depending on your um, space, you can pick whichever color. They had a lot to choose from. So I worked in my arrangement. I was thinking of putting everything together to kind of make it easy for me. Then I decided that spacing them apart was better. Now an easier way to do this is to just use some cardstock, something sturdy to make a template right here in the shape of a cross. And then you just will line up your frame so that everything is the same. So once you have them, I have them actually secured down with some scotch tape so they won't move around. And then I mark the areas where I was going to put my center frame. Then I added some hot glue for the video. Again, use a stronger glue. And then I centered it and placed it. Mine's a little bit off center. I raised it up a little bit. It was intentional, but you can put it directly in the center. And because I did not build this uh, template with a cardstock or anything, I'm gonna use my original piece as my template. So to make the other pieces, I just flipped the original piece upside down and lined everything together and just repeated the process and marked everything. And I taped it together again with some scotch tape. So I marked where I was going to put my middle piece, made sure everything was straight, added my hot glue, and then centered it in place. And this is the final result. This looks so good in my bedroom. I filmed this at night so you may not see the full effect. And for the center one, I added some of that rhinestone ribbon. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it on all of them, so I did it on one just to see. And this is the other one bare. Let me know what you guys think, which one's better. And this is it, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. For these um, Lotus tea lights, they are also available on Amazon. I will link them below. I thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you in my next video. God bless and bye bye.